This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Chances are you aren't wondering, do you actually use the HX Stomp? Because if you watch the channel enough, you know that I'm banging on about it all the time. But I wanted to talk today about how I actually use it live. And so the first use case is that what I started the guitar in the intro with, the acoustic guitar. So I used to use an LR Bags DI and I replaced that essentially with the HX Stomp. What's useful about that is that it's got a tuner built in, obviously. Um, and it's got a looper built in. So for my acoustic stuff, and I've got an acoustic duo on Saturday, um, essentially I just rock up with the HX Stomp, plug the guitar in into the Piezo Saver, that's the name of the preset that I use, um, which essentially uh, has like a tile reverb on it. It has a, a little bit of, well, probably quite a lot of reverb on it, uh, like a plate reverb or something like that. Um, and it has sort of three EQs which are designed to make my acoustic guitar sound less like a guitar played with a piezo and more like what it sounded like when I recorded into a real condenser mic. That's basically how I use it for the acoustic guitar and it's actually been really good for that. I really, really enjoy playing through piezo saver with an acoustic. I have tried it with a nylon and I've tried it with uh, a couple of different steel strings. Um, for me it seem, seems to work quite nicely uh, i would consider dropping the bass a little bit on one of the eqs if you're finding it a little bit too uh, overwhelming probably that's way one where i'm just using the hx stomp i did use the gig like that um for a fair amount of time uh i used to do sort of function gigs with the ears um Eventually I found the HX Stomp didn't have enough buttons really for me to do that comfortably. Although now there is uh, the possibility of basically having toggling snapshots. So you could have three sounds on just two pedals. Um, so that would have opened that up. But I also do like to have bits and pieces that are switchable on and off. So if I was just using the HX Stomp Live, I tend to now use the HX Stomp XL. There are a couple of presets uh, that I've used 
live with that. Actually, if I'm using just the HX Dump Live, I use a bit of a different kind of sound to what I'm about to show you, but also slightly different to what I'd use in the studio. And so studio is the other way that I use the HX Dump, which is all day, well, not all day anymore, but it used to be, and it is basically every day. So just, I go out of the outputs here, into my interface. The interface is a Steinberg UR RT4, which stays there all the time because I plug in different things. Obviously, you've seen me demo different bits of gear, like whether it's Fractal, uh, etc., the boss stuff. Um, but I'm normally sitting down and playing with the HX Stomp. Um, the output's here, two TRS, two XLRs over there, um, and just a guitar into the front. And if I'm demoing a pedal, generally that'll be going into here as well. And sometimes I even would just go straight into the interface and use Helix Native, which is the same sounds as available in here. Now, my pedal board, and I guess this is the, the way that I'm using it right now. I wanted to start using a real amp live again um, for a few reasons really one was that I felt like you know what's the point in having some of these amps if I never really use them I do have way less amps now anyway so in terms of tube amps I've got the Mesa Boogie Nomad I've got this matchless lightning clone which is what I'm using live these days and downstairs I've got a Fender Pro Reverb which is too heavy for me to get upstairs without giving myself a back issue um, because there's two EV speakers in it. Key to, to what I wanted to be doing was that I wanted it to be light and add something. So the Matches Lightning clone from Rift, uh, Zilla Cabs made me this shell. Um, I have this set, so it's got a master volume as well as a gain. So I have it basically the gain set clean-ish, pretty clean. There might be a tiny bit of breakup if I really dig in. Um, and then the master volume I set to whatever the room kind of dictates so you know if we're all close together i'll keep it a bit lower so that i'm not you know blowing the singer's ears out um but yeah this is sort of you know voxy but with 6v6 power output power tube output and then the cab that i've got for it at the moment is actually uh, a bit different and thanks to phil for recommending one of these it is a seven kilogram matrix neolite um which is ported, um, so it does have quite a lot of bass to it, but uh, I got this because, well, essentially it's super lightweight, and I thought I could do with some lightweight gear. Previously, I'd be using the Mesa Boogie with the EV speaker in the cab, little open back thing, um, and that's great, but it does weigh something like 17 kilos, and I thought, do you know what, for a minute, I'm gonna give myself a bit of a break, and. This seems to sound pretty much as good when I did an AB comparison downstairs. Um, maybe a bit more woolly in the bass, um, but you know, when you're playing a teenage dirtbag to seven people in the nan, does it really matter? Um, but yeah, that's I've been using that. In terms of how it's set up and stuff, my guitar goes in here to the Boss Angry Driver. This is sort of a Marshall in a box. Here I have a Keely Tone workstation, which has a compressor, blues breaker or boost, and a tube screamer. And then here I have my HX Stomp, which in this scenario, I run 
just in stomp mode. So I've got my tuner and then I've got two different delays. One is a dotted delay and then one is just like a, a normal kind of delay. And you can see out of here is how I get to the front of the lightning. So I split off after the reverb here and then on the top line of my HX stomp, I have an amp, an EQ and a cap. So the amp that I use here is the Grammatico GSG. I think I'm going to make some tweaks with this potentially because I feel like it might even be a bit too dark. But for, for the live use going through a PA, you'll probably find things do sound quite different to how they sound at home. Typically, the volume is going to be a lot greater when you're going out live and also PA speaker does kind of behave differently to these near field speakers at home. But that's basically the rig and then on a, an expression pedal, um, I control a little bit of a boost on both of the outputs. So basically you get a bit of a boost to the amp if I need to, out front you get that as well. So I chuck that on for the solos. I'll just quickly run you through the tones. Bit of a dual amp thing going on here um, because obviously I've got a dumbbell style tone within the HX stomp and then here is a bit more of a voxy type thing. I do hear people say sometimes, you know, I want it to sound the same out the front of PA as it does on stage. But actually, if you're using an amp, a real amp with a microphone anyway, you get some of this going on anyway because you color the tone so much by sticking a microphone in front of it anyway. Um, right. So my clean tone. Okay, then I can kick on a delay. That's kind of my extreme delay and then my normal delay. Okay, and then there I have the angry driver, which is my rhythm channel basically. Let's give it a little delay. So kick it on. Okay, and then I can also kick on the Blues breaker. For a bit of a mid gain or tube screamer. Or I could stack those, right? So, angry driver into blues breaker or katana. Blues breaker at the moment. Or angry driver into tube screamer. That's how I'm actually using the HX Stomp at the moment. Um, there are a few other ways that you could run an HX Stomp. So other ways that I have run it and I've been running it in the past is that you do the kind of direct front of house thing and then at the headphone output, I would run that into the Henriksen Bud, which was also running into the Mesa Boogie cab and I would leave all of the cab sibs on. So that was kind of getting somewhere towards the FRFR thing, right? You leave all the cabs on and try and just basically um, live with the tone that happens on stage. And I was quite happy with that as well. Um, other things that I've considered doing are kind of running four cable method. I think I did a video on that with the Mesa Boogie Nomad, but I'm not brave that on the gig yet because I take all of the PA and stuff. And so setup is quite tricky as it is. So I didn't really want to get into a scenario where I'm necessarily having to troubleshoot full cable stuff on the gig as well. Um, 
I think that's about most of the ways that I've tried it. Of course, you could use your HX Stomp as sort of like an effects unit as well, which is more or less what I'm doing here, aren't I, I guess? So I'm using it as a delay box, but also as a direct box to go to the front of the house. So I think that's quite a, a clever, well, it's not a clever way to do it, but it's quite a useful way to do it. Um, does mean that I don't have to mic up this amp, um, and it does mean that I don't have to bring, you know, loads of delay pedals and stuff. But I'm also here making use of, you know, some real pedals and getting kind of the best of both worlds, both tube amp and the um, convenience of the modeling world is kind of a, a nice little compromise. So that's how I'm actually using the HX Stomp. Let me know how you're using it. Uh, I think it's one of the, the best pedals ever made, the best value pedals ever made as well. Um, it's got better and better over time and super, super useful. So um, yeah, let me know how you're using them. Uh, the presets that I was using here, the Piezo Saver, and this is called JC Hybrid Gig SC. Now I think direct at home is gonna sound quite dark, um, possibly. So, you know, experiment with that. And I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers.